Hi, welcome to Advent Stretch and Flow, class number one. Class theme is peace. If it's your first time on interval with a music soundtrack with class, you can use the slider at the bottom of your screen to either turn the music up and hear less of my voice or turn it the other way to turn the music completely off and only hear my voice. So if you've got your mat or a comfy space to sit and your comfy clothes on, let's get started. We're going to start seated. You can do most of class seated from a chair as well. Let's go ahead and take one hand to our belly, one hand to our chest, and we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose, and then exhale through the nose or mouth. Notice which hand is rising first. And then last. We want the belly hand to be inflating the most and first. Perhaps the chest hand doesn't rise at all or just a little bit. And then it softens first on your exhale. Continue breathing this way. As I read over our scripture for this week from John chapter 14 keep reading verses 25 through 27 I am telling you these things while I am still living with you the friend the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send at my request will make everything plain to you Keep doing those deep inhales. He will remind you of all the things I have told you. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you. Peace. I don't leave you the way you're used to being left, feeling abandoned, bereft. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. Wherever you are in your breathing, take one or two more nice, relaxing belly breaths and think about the word peace in Hebrew, shalom, actually means whole. So God is not leaving us. He did not leave us here broken, separated pieces. He gave us his peace, wholeness. That is our little meditation for the class today. Let's continue breathing. If you're ready, you can give yourself a little shake. If you need to switch or move your legs, you can do that. And we're going to inhale. We're going to shrug our shoulders up with that inhale. And then we're going to exhale. Let's slide them down. So we're just getting our breath to move bigger. Inhale, shoulders. Exhale, slide them down. Next, we're going to let our shoulders drop down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then we're going to take that to a little shoulder roll. Inhale the shoulders. Roll them back. Inhale up. Roll them back and down. Then every exhale, just... Move a little bit more stress away. One of my favorite little um, series is here is from the shoulders. We're going to go into elbow circles. So leaving your shoulders down, fingertips tickle your shoulders. Elbow circle up, open and back. Up, open and back. We'll do about four. And then we'll sweep the arms forward, up, back, and down. Now, if the arm circles are too much for you for shoulders or any reason, we can take them forward and small. Or you can go back to the elbows or even just the shoulders, whatever worked best for you. From here, we'll let those arms relax just a tad. We'll inhale, take the head up, but only as far as you feel comfortable in your neck. No crunching back there. Exhale the head down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 
two more. Exhale. Inhale, God's peace. Shalom. Exhale. Now leaving our chin towards the chest. It doesn't have to be on the chest, but down there. We're going to kind of roll the head over to one side and then forward and over to the other. So just a half head circle. Go ahead and close your eyes if rolling this way makes you a little dizzy. Then we'll do one more half head circle each way, taking the inhale to the shoulder, exhale chest, inhale other shoulder, and release. Take the head up on top of the spine. Now, we're going to reach our arms out, palms away from us. Inhale, sweeping the arms, and we're going to look up. So we're kind of putting together our arm movement, our head movement, and our breath. You can still belly breathe. Anytime we're in the stretching section, a good belly breath is always welcome. Now, sometimes in Pilates, we do have to maintain our abdominals being held, depending on what action we're doing, and still learn to breathe deeply, though. Last time, inhale up, exhale down. Well, I lied, not the last time. Last time to the center, and then we're going to inhale up. We're going to rotate, let's rotate to the right, <sighs> left hand down. Now, I went to my right, so that. If you're mirroring me, you're actually going to the left first. Inhale, center, other way. It really doesn't matter. As long as you're stretching up in the center, as you rotate to the side, fingertips come down. If you can touch your knee and then somewhere behind you, great. If you're stiffer, maybe you're only going this far. Totally fine. You're going to start where you are today. Next time you do the class, maybe you can go a little farther. Now, whichever side you went to first, you're going to stay here this back arm. Sweep it towards the camera, towards your device without moving your torso and then up and then reach back a little bit further. Now again, if that's too much range of motion, go back to the elbow circles. Do the range of motion from there. Or you can take your arm circle smaller. The important part is to reach back and increase that twist a little bit more if you can. One more time. And then that arm that was sweeping, bring it back up. And we're going to dive it over into a little side bend. So if you're mirroring me, you're side bending over to your right with your left arm up. Coming back up to the center. We'll do that for the other side. Actually, let's take four times to breathe up and down first. Kind of backtracking. <sighs> And then on the tail end of this one, we're going to twist to your right or the other side. <laughs> Inhale up, twist. Inhale up. And twist. Now we'll go and we'll hold. To your second side. Give yourself a moment to breathe while I check our time. Okay. And then this back arm is going to sweep forward, but keep your torso twisted up and back. Remember our options for just doing the elbow, taking a smaller arm circle. Oh, if you can really circle it big one last time, up. Squeeze it back, and then the arm that is moving is going to sweep us to the side, up and over. Enjoy that side bend. Hmm. Take it up. All right. Now, if you're sitting on the floor like me, perhaps your feet are a little bit, or your knees are a little bit tired of being bent, so we're going to shake them out just a tad. And then we're going to actually take soles of the feet together. A butterfly pose. Now, if this is harder on your knees, you can slide some pillows or roll up a towel 
put it under there. If it's hard on your tailbone, you can actually put a pillow or a yoga block under your tailbone so you're lifted up a little more, and that actually helps your hips as well. So little options there. Make sure we don't have to pull the feet all the way in here. We're just kind of a big circle, okay? We're going to do seated cat-cow. So as we exhale, we're going to scoop our spine back, make a nice C curve. And as we inhale, think of your chest pressing forward and up, heart forward. I'll go ahead and show that from the side. Exhale. Inhale. I can use a little bit of pressure on my shins if that's comfortable for me. One more time. I'm going to go back to our center view. Exhale. Inhale. While we're still in this butterfly, Go ahead and flutter your butterfly. Let me see. It's reminiscent of those creative dance days, right? If you had dance when you were little. Now, we're going to push the feet together and just notice the inner thighs, inner legs kind of firing up. Flutter again. Now, holding onto your ankles or shins, pull your knees down gently, but feel the opposite side of your legs. Now, your outside of your legs turn on. And then we'll flutter. And I'm repeating that. Push. Now we'll flutter. And we will pull. And it's time for us to switch into Pilates. So we're going to shake that out. That one would have been a little hard to do from a chair, but you could probably find a way. Now we're going to go on our back. So um, if you're on a chair, you can sit up and you can mimic a lot of the movements we're doing while you're sitting. Gentle way to get down. Just slide down and roll onto your back. Okay. Fine. I always like to shake my hips out a little bit when I get there. Oh, knees bent. Let's open your arms to a T. And let's let the knees sway side to side. Just a little windshield wipers here. Relax our lower back. Kind of warmed up our upper body. Just warmed up our thigh muscles, but our lower back needs a little bit of a, a warm up. Okay, taking our hands to the palms of our hands to our hip bones, fingertips pointed towards our pubic bone. Kind of repeating the cat cow, but we're going to exhale, flatten our lower back, scooping under, pass through your neutral spine. That's where your hands are balanced. And then arch the spine. Can you see that? I'll tighten my shirt a little bit so you can really see. Exhale. Here we are scooping. As we inhale, you're actually letting your belly stay tight. Think of exhale, or inhaling the ribs wider. Because you really can't take a belly breath in this motion, right? So teach more about Pilates breath in my other programs. But just a little tidbit. Think of your ribs widening on your inhale here and then exhaling pulling together like an accordion on your exhale now we're going to take this a little further right arms by your side make sure your feet are not too close or too far away nice comfortable distance exhale press the spine rolling up into a bridge not a crazy high yoga bridge just to your shoulder blades inhale the top exhale roll it down and the back side turned on. Now you may want to look, if you ever had to look at the camera, that's fine. But when you know what you're doing, make sure your head is straight on. So we don't get any kind of little kink in our neck by looking sideways and then lifting our hips up. Speaking of kink in my neck, I'm going to look at my notes right now. Where am I? Okay. Oh, yes. Rolling down, we're going to add the knee fold. We're going to exhale, bring one leg to 90 degrees, place it down, bring up the other leg. Then keep this little march. Be mindful we're not pulling our knee in this way, right? We're trying to get to that nice 90 degree bend and replace. Try to feel the pelvis stays neutral. You can march your legs if you're seated in a chair right now. One more. March on both legs. 
And then we're going to add, this is where we're going to bring it up just a notch. We're going to add that march in to our bridge. So bring yourself up to your bridge. Exhale. Breathe in for nothing. And then as you keep your hips lifted, you can start with just a tiny little lift of the foot off the floor. We want to make sure our hips don't twist. We try to keep them even. Right? If that feels good for you, you can increase your range of motion. Feel the back of those legs working, right? After the next one, we're going to roll it down. Take a breath in. Push your hips up a little bit more. And then roll down. Shake it out a bit. Now we're going to repeat our plain bridge four times and then repeat with our knee folds. And this time we're going to take our arms up to the ceiling. And then as we raise our hips, see if we can let our arms rest overhead. If it's too much to go to the floor, you can float them here. Roll down. And if that's too much of a balance issue, you can keep your arms on the mat. This is just options because I know we have all levels taking this class. Exhale. A little bit of core work. We don't have the arms to hold us. Now here comes our fun one. We're going to roll the hips up to our bridge. Turn your palms like you were clapping. Face each other, but they're reaching towards the ceiling, shoulders apart. Can you repeat your knee folds from here? Ooh, you can notice on me my, oh, my left leg, left side of my hip, which is the one that was injured, is still a little weaker than my right. If it's too much, take your hips down here. Your hips. These are your arms. <laughs> take your arms down on the mat. We'll just do i got to try a few more with my arms up and a bigger range of motion. Last one on each side. Inhale, press your hips up before you come down, and then roll it down. Pull your knees in. If you like a little ball feeling, you can curl your head up too and nose towards your knees and just kind of rock and roll around your back. Give it a little massage. All right, we're going to do the hundreds. We're going to sneak those in before we run out of time on our Pilates section. Feet down. In the hundreds, we're going to be sniffing in through our nose, rolling out through our mouth. Follow along and always know you can drop your head back to the mat here. We can do the hundreds from here with the arms only or with the head up. So if you're going to start with your head up, take your arms overhead, breathe in. Exhale, bring up fingertips, head, chest shoulders and then we're going to breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in we're halfway there if you drop your head looks like this strong shoulder blades Breathe in, breathe out, last time, breathing in and out. Well, now your core is warm, right? A little bit of a quarter roll up here, arms overhead, they come to the ceiling. We roll up our head, chest, and shoulders. You can go ahead and reach for the tip top of your knees and then roll down. So this is the beginning of your roll up, but we're just trying to get to the shoulder blades somewhere maybe if you're newer you're only going to get your head and your shoulders about this far off without getting stuck maybe you can go a little bit further now we're going to turn this into a little crisscross preparation so fingertips you you may interlace them behind your head but actually press them into your head and then resist and push your head into your hands so we have a good connection there and we're going to exhale lift up head chest and shoulders and guess what? We're going to repeat this little knee fold. Try the knee fold, just floating the head up here, right? That's our leg motion. Now, as your right knee comes off the floor, take your left shoulder and reach across. Now, just go back to the head floating pose here, all right, for today. This is your baby beginning of the crisscross. We should feel a crisscross energy, right? One oblique, then the other, really your transverse abdominis, 
which if you're like, what the heck are those muscles? Don't worry, but those are everything you need to have a strong core and support your spine. Let's do one more on each side. Lower it down, shake it up. Now, we've got about, oh wow, almost zero time left on Pilates, but I'm gonna squish one more thing in here. We're gonna roll over on to our tummy real quick. So we're gonna try to each week get a few things in here for the back and the side body too, not just your front body. So on our tummy, shake it out a little bit. Maybe even bend your knees and reverse that windshield wiper. Stretch the legs out. You're going to turn them out. If your heels were together, they'd be kissing, but they can be hip distance apart. Here in your tummy, let it hang out and then pull up. Pull up your belly as if you could slide something underneath your tummy. You can't, but you want to feel that way. Lengthening your lower back. Hands above your shoulders. Take them a little wider. We're going to inhale and think energy out the top of our head, stretching up. Press your heart forward, not just up and back, but forward. And we'll lower down. You can turn your head to one side when you lower down. This is a slow motion partial swan, swan stretch, which may remind you of a cobra stretch from yoga. We're going to add the legs on. We're going to inhale, head lifting up and out, heart press forward. As you lower your upper body, your legs are gonna float up. Now I'm just gonna leave my head forward here. Inhale, press. If you feel supported and no pain in your lower back, you can start to press a little bit higher. You can backtrack your hands closer to you to get a little bit more oomph. Now don't worry if you're not looking like me. Let's just take one more slow rocking swan. And then relax it down. Give it a shake. I always like to relax our spine extensors after we stretch them up. We're going to sit back to a little child's pose. Now you can take another deep belly breath in here. Yes, your belly is going to press against your thighs. But going to force the air all around your diaphragm. Roll up your spine slowly. Now it's time for our ending of meditation and relaxation. So if you'd prefer to sit with your back tall, you may, or you can get yourself back on the ground into a nice relaxation pose, kind of like this, like the corpse pose, legs out, palms up. All right. I'm going to let you pick the position for your relaxation. I'm going to sit up so I can talk you through it. So find your place. And <sighs> coming back to that belly breath. If you're lying on the ground or you're sitting tall, take one hand to your belly, one hand to your chest. Breathing it in. Feeling the belly rise. One second, we'll check our music. Yes, okay, good. And if you can think about how long you're breathing in and out for, think of inhaling for four counts. It doesn't have to be to the music counts, but four of your own beats for seconds. And exhaling for four. Breathing in and breathing out. And we're returning to the word peace. Shalom. As you breathe in, imagine you're breathing in more of the Holy Spirit. And his Christmas gift to you is completeness, wholeness, because of what Jesus came and did for us on the cross and being resurrected, we have 
breathing in, we have been made whole. I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. The friend, the Holy Spirit, as we breathe and take our breath, another word for spirit is breath. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request, will make everything plain to you. On your next exhale, just soften and relax more into the floor. Trusting God to make everything plain to you. He will remind you of all the things I have told you. I am leaving you well. Inhale God's wellness. And whole. That's my parting gift to you. Peace. Breathe in God's peace. Maybe even imagining God's peace is coming, flowing into your body like a white light. Feeling all the little broken parts and pieces and cracks, making them whole. I don't leave you the way you're used to being left, feeling abandoned, bereft. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. John 14, verses 25 to 27. Continue keeping your eyes closed or close them if you haven't already. And every inhale, maybe make it just a tad longer. And then your exhales flow just a little bit longer as well. Taking whatever image or word from the reading spoke to you the most. And feeling the Holy Spirit inhale, maybe imagining he's coming in through your inhale, through your nose. And on your exhale, it's pushing more of Holy Spirit presence all the way through your body, physically and spiritually. Exhale, softening away anything that makes you upset. Every exhale, softening and melting away the things that make us distraught. The things that make us stressed and discouraged. Let your exhale push those things, release those things away. As we relax just a few more moments, check in with your jaw, your neck. Is it softened? If it's not, on your next exhale, just try to relax. Let your tongue relax against the roof of your mouth and soften the neck, jaw, shoulders. And let's continue taking that softening with every exhale through our chest. Imagine warmth melting like butter down through your spine. Your next exhale is going to soften and release through the hips. Relax your bottom, the thighs, the knees. And of course, finishing softening all the way down through our legs, through the ankles, the toes. Thank you, Jesus, for being our peace, our shalom. Not just giving us 
a feeling of peace through this holiday season, but also ministering to us and making us whole as we meditate on your scriptures during this Advent time. And of course you can lie or sit still as long as you like. If you're ready to be done, you'll just flutter open your eyes, maybe give yourself a little wiggle. If you're lying on the mat flat, go ahead and roll yourself over to one side and then push yourself up with your hands so you can keep that nice relaxed feeling. And thank you for joining me for the first Advent Stretch and Flow class. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>